Hey, what's going on there, guys? Your boy Chris, and uh, I got some new information regarding the Revolution DLC pack that's coming out for Black Ops 2. Um, the information was released from Amazon UK. Uh, I followed up on the information through charlieintel.com, link at the bottom of the film or video. Um, and I'm just going to go through a description real quick. I'm not trying to make this too long. So, oh, and before I forget, uh, Rip Keith Ratliff. Um, enough of that. Uh, Revolution is the first downloadable content pack for Black Ops 2. Containing four of the most exciting multiplayer maps and thrilling new zombies map. And for the first time ever, a new weapon, the Peacekeeper SMG. Released on Xbox Live on January 29th, Revolution includes Hydro. This large map allows you to use the dam and water to your advantage to block, pass, and stop enemies. So basically, it's a river with a dam on one side, maybe a footpath or two on the opposite flank, a bridge down the middle, and basically you're trying to get over the river and flip the spawn. Over the river and flip the spawn. Da -da -da -da. Okay, second map. Downhill. A medium-sized map based on the French Alps, complete with snow, chairlifts, and a strategic placed lodge. Um, I already said it. I said it a week ago. Uh, this is going to be a, a state with snow. Um, I said it first. But anyhow, uh, yeah. Uh, top spawn, to up the hill spawn down the hill spawn uh, if you're on down the hill spawn you're gonna wanna be on the up spawn <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fun for domination um, basically whoever gets to the lodge first and holds the lodge is gonna whoop some ass um, next board grind set within a, the locale of a Venice California boardwalk this small skate park map is sure to deliver fast and frantic Call of Duty action. Uh, originally, I thought it was like a skate park from like my era, which would be the the early 80s and the 80s, where like a lot of snake runs and big bowls and swimming pools and half pipes. And then I realized that skate parks nowadays have a couple of street obstacles and maybe a quarter pipe here and there. And there ain't very much to them. So basically, I'm thinking this is going to be a, a small, big a small square with very little cover and as soon as you spawn you're going to be just running and gunning and shooting down about you know 122 people in a single match well I don't know next map Mirage um, I'm going to stand corrected I guess it's not going to be a throwback from World at War um, from the you know the look of it originally it looked like an old World War map but uh, this gobby desert multiplayer map utilizes sand dunes to provide different levels of elevation and a sanctuary in the center as a natural choke point alright so uh, I'm picturing this map from battlefield 2 where you're you know one side of the desert is your enemy you're on the other side of the desert and there's that little town in the middle and everybody races to get to that little town and get through that town to the other side of town so that you could basically pick off your opponents at their spawn um, you now Call of Duty they don't have big maps but I'm, I'm thinking from the sound of this this is going to be a, a relatively large sized map uh, if you're basing it in the desert with one central location but then again who knows um, the zombies map die rise oh by the way there was a zombies trailer up for about an hour and a half two days ago it was on uh, call of duty elite mobile um, but it was abruptly taken down I think someone screwed up when they put it up there but whatever uh, it's not up there anymore so you can't even find it but it should be on in a day or two anyhow die rise the zombie apocalypse has invaded China turning down turning downtown into a dilapidated and dangerous MC Escher painting well I had to look up MC Escher real quick and uh, see his work and uh, it's uh, beautiful work and uh, but uh, I don't understand how this is going to translate into a zombies map but uh, 
I'm not a big zombies fan anyhow, so who gives a shit? Um, okay, the Peacekeeper SMG. I'm going on the line here, and I'm going to tell you this is going to be a multiplayer map for two reasons. One, um, one is the community and the developers both actually have been seeking to add in uh, weapon or perk DLC for a long time now. It's just a, the, 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 the logistics um, behind it hasn't really been thought out well. So I'm thinking this is going to be the big opportunity where they're going to test the uh, implementing the DLC into multiplayer. Um, and from however this works out will dictate what happens in the future. Um, another reason that I think it is going to be in multiplayer is the exact reason why most people think it's not going to be in multiplayer. Everybody's saying, oh, well, it's not a real weapon, so, and everything in multiplayer is based on a real weapon. But you also have to think this multiplayer is actually based in the future. So, it's not too far fetched to think that, you know, a, a designer could at least come up with his interpretation of what may look like a real weapon in the future and then basically they just give it the same char characteristics as the rest of the SMGs in the game. I don't think this gun is going to be any more powerful than what is already in the game. I think it just gives people another opportunity to get the camos and get the, the diamond camouflage and level up a gun and by the time everything's said and done 95% of people aren't even going to use it um, and you know what they'll go back to their old regular uh, fail safe or uh, you know their regular normal gun which they use throughout the game um, and basically that's it I didn't want to make this long I wanted to keep it short love you all peace subscribe comment like dislike I don't care just join me tomorrow in the next video. Peace. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Clicking in the middle of the screen will take you to my previous video. Or you can check out one of the links on the side, which will take you to my YouTube, my Twitter, my Facebook, or subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. I'll catch you in the next video.